Leonardo AI is a generative AI tool to create AI art with free and paid plans. Create an account if you don't already have one. You can sign up with Apple, Google, Microsoft, or your email address. Click on the Launch App button. With the free version, you have 150 tokens every day, and the images are free for commercial use also. Each generation will cost a certain number of tokens, depending on the options used. If you need more tokens in a day, you can click the Upgrade button to purchase a subscription. Navigate to the left sidebar and click on Image Generation. You can choose how many images you want generated. The more images you choose, the more tokens it costs. You can change the model, which is just a preset of style parameters to start with. Click Add Elements. Select the coloring book element. Enter the prompt. Type coloring page, and I'll do a country house and garden. Include white background and black line art. This generation will cost five tokens. It may take a minute to generate the images. You can view your images under this tab. We're not going to use any options under these two tabs. These images look good. Each model is trained using a certain image dimension, and the one I chose was trained on 1024 by 768. You can change the dimensions and aspect ratio on the sidebar. So let's change the aspect ratio to three to four. You can see that this ratio is not compatible with the model because of this yellow triangle right here. Since it's not compatible, the images might be distorted. So generate again, and let's see if the images are distorted. I think these look okay, but I do notice that the quality has decreased a tad bit. Let's see the results if the weight is changed. I'll increase it to two. Well, that looks terrible. Let's check if using the suggested dimensions makes a difference. Okay, they still look bad. Let's decrease the weight to 0.5. Okay, these look good. They are more detailed, but have more grayscale. I generated a few more images with the recommended dimensions for the model, and some with the three to four aspect ratio. To download an image, hover over the image, click here to download. You can generate a short video. Here is the upscaler. It's available with paid plans. Free plans can use it also, but it'll cost eight tokens. I'm not going to use it in Steed, I will use a free upscaler later. There are more options, but we are not going to use them in this video. Let's download some images. The images will be saved in your downloads folder. I'm going to use GIMP to edit the images. It's free open source software that can be downloaded from GIMP.org. You can use any editor of your choice, and there are many free ones available. I'll just drag an image into the editor. Go to image. Click Scale Image. I'm going to scale it by 2. Keep the resolution at 300 dpi. GIMP losslessly upscales images, meaning the quality of the image does not decrease when it's upscaled. This image just needs a little editing, like removing gray areas. So, click the Fuzzy Select icon. While holding down the Shift key, click on the gray areas. Zoom in if you need to. When you are done, select the Bucket Fill tool and make sure the foreground color is white. While holding the shift key, click on a selected area. You should see that the selected areas are white. Go to the menu, click select, click none. I'm going to zoom in some. You can also use the eraser tool, change the size here. If you make any mistakes, hold down control and Z on the keyboard or go to edit and click undo. Let's change the background to white because it looks off-white. Go back to the fuzzy select tool. Click on the background and any other areas you want white. Make sure not to click on any of the outline.
When you are done editing the image, go to File and click Export. Now, go to Canva.com. Click on the Create Design button. Choose Custom Size. Enter the width and height, which will be 8.5 and 11. Change the unit to inches. I already have a file with the guide set for the margins required for Amazon KDP. Our book will have around 40 pages with no bleed, so we need 0.375 inches for the inside margin and at least 0.25 inches for the outside margins. To add a guide, go to the ruler, click, and drag to the desired position. We want a border around our images, so go to the side panel and click the Elements tab. Click the square shape to add it to the page. We need to resize it, so drag it until it snaps to the guides. Now, let's change the border style. You can change the weight also, but I'll just use this value. Click here to change the color from gray to white. Now we have a border for our images. Go to the folder where you saved your edited images, select and drag them on the page, or you can upload them using Canva's upload tool. This image is the size recommended for the model we used in Leonardo. As you can see, this is not optimal for the 8.5 by 11 inch book. Instead, let's change the orientation. Go to position, rotate it 90 degrees, drag it to make it bigger. Now center it. If you are using images with aspect ratio three to four, you don't have to rotate them. Duplicate the page and delete the image so there's only the border. Copy the border page for each coloring page in your book. Let's hide the guides so we can see the border. After you have all of your images in the order you like, add a blank page between each image, just in case the coloring bleeds through the page. I like to add a this book belongs to page, so let's do that. Go to the Elements tab again. Under Graphics, search for Border. You will see many graphics that you can add to your design. If you see a crown next to it, that is only available for pro accounts. I like this one. Let's show the guides again. Just drag it to make it as big as you like, but don't go outside the guides. Now go to the Text tab and add a heading. You can change the font family here. You can change the size and color of the text if you like. Those options are next to the font family option on the toolbar. Add a horizontal line so the customer can write his or her name. Look for a free one. This one is thick, but I'm just using it as an example so it'll do. Make it the size you like and position it wherever you want. Since I added this page, the images are on even number pages. I want them on odd number pages, so the blank page is on the back of the image. So I will just add another blank page after the first page. We are done with the interior of the book. Now go here to download it. Click Download, select PDF Print. RGB is good enough, click Download. Go back to Leonardo to create the images for the book cover. Just modify the prompt, delete all of the information for coloring pages, add highly detailed. Go to Elements and remove the coloring page element. I'm going to generate only one image and make sure the aspect ratio is three to four. This generation costs three tokens. This is good for the front cover. Let's generate another image for the back cover. Just create a country garden. This looks good too. So let's download the cover images. Next, you should go to the Amazon KDP book cover calculator to create a template for the book cover. I'm gonna skip that step, but if you wanna see how it's done, check out my Easter coloring book video. I created a new design in Canva with the dimensions specified in the template and dragged the template onto the page. Navigate to the folder where you saved your book cover images. I'm not going to upscale them, but of course you can upscale your images with GIMP or any other upscaler. Drag the images onto the page.
position the images. I'm going to add a rectangle shape and change the color to black. Resize so it covers the whole template. Make sure you cover the pink outline completely. Right click, click the layer option, and send it backward. Drag it to the bottom. Drag this side to the dotted line. Adjust it to your liking. Let's add the title, style it, and position it however you want. Go to Effects, click Background. You can adjust the roundness, spread, transparency, and color. Now check that the text is within the pink border. So click on the image, click here to reduce the transparency. As you can see, the text and its background are outside the safe area, which is the white space inside the pink border. Adjust and center it. If everything looks good, set the transparency back to 100. You can add some sample coloring pages on the back cover and a description of the book if you like. Now set the transparency of the black rectangle to 100. I see some black on the edges, so I'll drag the images to cover it. When you are done with the book cover, just download it, following the steps used to download the inner file. Now, the inner and cover files are ready for upload to Amazon KDP, and it was all done with free tools. Check out my video about creating an Easter coloring book for information about uploading your files to KDP.